I want to take you through two more, two more things. And we'll go quickly through this. Daniel 7 is the other benchmark example of the courts and spiritual warfare. And we've looked at this. A stream of fire flowed from his presence. Thousands and thousands ministered to him. Millions and millions stood before him. Then the court was convened and the books were opened. I kept watching. Then because of the arrogant words which the horn was speaking, I watched as the animal was killed. Its body was destroyed. It was given over to be burned up completely. As for the other animals, their rulership was taken away, but their lives were prolonged for a time and a season. Then right after that is the kingdom of Jesus showing up. So every time that you get a ruling executed on the earth, the purposes of God are free to be expressed. The kingdom of Jesus shows up in the place. And then Daniel 7, 21, 22, I watched and that horn made war with the holy ones and was winning. I don't like that. Until the ancient one came and judgment was given in favor of the holy ones of the most high. And the time came for the holy ones to take over the kingdom. And then in verse 26, but when the court goes into session, the enemy will be stripped of his rulership, which will be consumed and completely destroyed. See the connection? Court goes into session. The enemy is stripped of his rulership completely destroyed. Then the kingdom, the rulership, the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven will be given to the holy people of the Most High. Their kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all rulers will serve and obey them. Say, that's me. That's me. Come on. That's, uh, that's, our, that's our destiny. <clears throat> the truth is stranger than fiction and way more exciting. And once the court goes into session, the enemy is stripped of his authority and power and the kingdom comes into our hands. This is the prophetic time we are entering as the people of God. Sorry about that. Jesus will return once death is put under his feet. And that enemy will, place, will be placed as his footstool through the rulings of the court of heaven. I'm telling you that's how it's going to be. And who is the feet of Jesus? We are. So when death is put under the feet of the body of Christ, when death is destroyed in the earth and that wobble is fixed, that last enemy, that's when Jesus comes back. That's why my eschatology changed. I quit believing I'll fly away. I started to look at it going, do you know what? I got a job to do. We've got to put death under our feet. Amen. That's our job. And he sits in heaven until the last enemy is put under his feet. And that enemy is death. And it's done through, these, through the rulings of the court of heaven. And Revelation chapter 5 is all about that. <clears throat> 